I am back with a much requested baby clothing haul. I did quite a bit of shopping over the Black Friday sale period between Carter's and Baby Gap, and I thought I would show some of my finds with you. This is most of what I bought, but not quite everything, because I bought a lot of kind of duplicate things, and I just don't, I don't want this to be like a 35 minute video of the same baby outfit over and over again. But I thought I'd give you a, a general sense of what I bought. Like I said, this is most of what I bought. Um, I wanted to get some newborn items, because I really don't know how big she's gonna be. And even if she only wears those things for a week, I want her to be as comfortable as possible. And then I bought mostly three month items um, for that age range. I decided not to buy a lot past the three month mark um, because I want to see what she's into, what kind of clothes she likes wearing um, before I spend a lot on things that I can't, maybe cannot necessarily return. Um, and it just seems silly to me to buy a lot of things for further down the line when I don't know what it's gonna work out for both of us, <laughs> for me as the one dressing her and for her as the one wearing it. Um, so that's why I stuck with mostly newborn and three month stuff. Um, but like I said, I got some really good deals between Carter's and Baby Gap. At Carter's, I saved 60% on everything, which was huge because they're pretty inexpensive. It's nice clothing, it's good for babies. It's not like the best quality, I would say, but it's really nice quality for the price and it lasts pretty much as well as long as you need it for your, um, for that like growth period. I know this not through experience personally, but through friends and family who swear by Carter's for you know, just like nice, inexpensive clothing that lasts great while you need it, um, while they're going through so much change. So I saved 60% on everything at Carter's, and I'm gonna show you. I try not to get too many newborn things because I just don't, you know, I think I bought a good amount. I mainly bought onesies and sleepers in everything, um, but I really like the, the, the sleepers at Carter's. They just seem really nice. Um, and like I said, my friends and family swear by them. So I bought a few in different kinds of fabrics. So these are all newborn sizes. This is just like a cotton one with the zipper. I've heard rave reviews about zipper um, sleepers and it's got the kind of sleeves that pop over. So um, if you're, you know, over your baby's hands so they can't like scratch their face or stuff because apparently they're born with really long nails. Um, but it's got the feet built in. I just thought this was really sweet. They have really cute patterns and things. That's kind of cutesy stuff, but you really can't beat the price, like I said. I also bought um, a terry cloth version, which is kind of a mid-weight. This is really cute. It has a little white, I think that's a polar bear. I just love the color and look at the little tush. It's got, it's got the bear on the tush and the little feet. Super sweet, and then I also bought a fleece version, and I just really like this floral version. Now the fleece and the um, terry cloth ones don't have the fold over hands, but I figured that's okay, because you can always buy them it separately. Um, we also have a baby proof nail file thing called a Zobi or a Zoli, I can't remember. I bought it way back in the Nordstrom anniversary haul. Um, that's really well rated for babies, um, so. Hopefully we'll be able to trim her nails, I just don't know, but really sweet. So three different weight options in the sleepers. Um, and then I also bought just some white onesies. Um, we do kind of plan to try swaddling her, so I don't think she's gonna need during the day like a lot of other clothing if she's all swaddled up. Again, I don't know, I might end up needing to buy some other things after she's here and figure that out, but we live very close to Carter's and I can always just send Don. <laughs> He's good at that kind of thing. I mean, if he knows what to get, he'll, he'll get it. Um, so that's kind of nice. But I bought just two packs of their little um, white uh, body suits. So this is the short sleeve version and the long sleeve version. And I figure that's a really good start. Um, and you know, they are newborn size. Um, uh, I also bought them in the three month size. I'm not gonna show you that again, but it's just really nice basics to have. I just don't think you can have too many white onesies. And like I said, if she's too big for this when she's born, it's not a big deal. We saved a lot of money on it and I can donate them. I am planning on washing all of the newborn stuff and probably about half of the three month old stuff. Um, just so I don't, 
just so I can have the option to return some of the three month stuff if you know we figure out we don't like that or whatever. But I think I bought the right amount of newborn stuff that I can wash it all and not have to worry about returning it. And I did buy one kind of special piece in the newborn size. Uh, this is a little bodysuit, you know, for when you're on the go. It's gonna be very cold when she's born. And I just, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. Look at the little bear ears. And then it's got little bear footsies and it's got the mitts that go over so to keep her hands warm. Um, and I love how it's lined in the gray stripe. It's really soft on the inside. Um, it doesn't feel overly hot too, but it's nice and cozy. Um, so I couldn't resist that. I just had to buy that little special piece. I also bought some socks. Um, these are zero to three month socks. Uh, I just, again, it's another thing I just don't know if you can have too many socks. Um, so I bought these little white ones and they're almost kind of like a slipper sock feel. They've got kind of a chenille feel. They both have um, the little rubberized bottoms. It's not like she's gonna be walking or anything, but um, just nice to have a set of white socks. So I think that's three pairs. And then I got this set of six pairs of these little socks with the um, kind of like fake shoes, like fake Mary Janes, they're just socks. Um, but they're on all different colors and I just thought it was nice to have more socks. You can't have too many socks. And this was just kind of a little bonus thing I bought that I saw. It's just a little um, like toy. She won't, you know, obviously won't be into this kind of thing for a while, but we don't actually have anything like this yet. Um, so I thought I should probably buy one. I think we have maybe a couple that you guys have sent actually. Um, now that I think about it. I have everything kind of put away um, for the moment because we're waiting for our furniture to come before we like put stuff away. So I have things just kind of in bins in the guest room. Um, so I, I have to go through and make sure, but I just, I thought that was cute. Cute little fuzzy guy to clip onto the stroller or to the car seat or whatever. Um, and then I bought a whole bunch of three month stuff. So again, I bought sleepers in the different weights. Um, so I bought the cotton kind. Now that it's the older size, they don't have the fold over mitts anymore. I just thought this was super, super sweet with the butterflies. I love the navy background. Um, and again, zip. I went zip for most of them. This one is a snap, um, but I just thought it was super, super sweet. And this is the terry cloth weight. Um, really cute, sweet patterns. Not too, not too cutesy. Um, I, I'm a fan of cutesy anyway, so I don't care. And then uh, the fleece, it's still gonna be very cold even if she doesn't fit into this until she's three months old. It's still gonna be chilly, so I thought it's good to have a couple fleece ones. I probably won't wash the fleece ones right away um, just in case we need to return those. Um, but who knows how big she'll be, like I said. And then I bought kind of more clothing sorts of things for the three month um, size. Um, so they had a lot of these things with this sort of navy and light pink motif, which I thought I really liked. So it comes with a little onesie and this little sweatery snap jacket thing and, and pants that match. But then I also found this set of onesies that are, um, you know, matching colors and, and, and themes. Um, it's just really, really cute stuff. Look, that says always adorable. And I also went ahead and bought a couple of uh, pairs of pants. These come in a set to match. So I thought that was kind of nice to have mix and match pieces, um, little, you know, day wear items um, for the three month uh, size. And then I also bought this little um, jacket hoodie for the three month size because I figure white will go with anything to pop on if it's chilly um, in the house or out of the house. And it's just so super soft. And again, they do the little bear ear things. I just can't get enough of that. I think that's so cute. Um, so that's a look at the basic things that I got from Carter's. And then I also shopped Baby Gap. Baby Gap has been high on my list. It's just so highly reviewed by moms across the board as being really nice quality clothing. It's significantly more expensive, um, but on that Black Friday weekend, I was able to save 50% on everything. And that was huge and I was so happy with myself that I waited to shop. Um, I bought more three month things from from Baby Gap than newborn because like I said, they're a little bit more expensive. Um, I mainly wanted like take home outfits, um, in the newborn size and to have a take home outfit in the three month size from Baby Gap because I've heard so many good things about their first favorites line. Um, so I bought in the their newborn size, their 
two footed one piece and this is a set of two. I'll pull one out so you can see what it looks like. I mean this is really teensy tiny but how sweet is that? And I'm, this is a, one of the things that I'm planning on washing up and packing in the hospital bag as a take home outfit option. I'm gonna have this in the newborn size and then one in the three month size um, as take home options and they have the little fold over um, you know, arms so that folds over their hands. Um, and I just thought a, a sleeper was an easy thing to bring her home in because it covers, what's this black fuzzy? It cover, it will cover her completely. It's easy, hopefully, to get on and off and um, just a no fuss piece. Plus she's gonna be all wrapped up anyway, so <laughs> there's that. And then um, I bought the little hats that match, um, the little first favorites hats and they're actually like little knotted hats, super, super cute. Um, so that came in a set of two, but then I also bought, let me move this over. I also bought a their um, three month size version. Um, this is something else that I'm planning on washing up and packing in the hospital bag. So those will be her two outfit options. Um, if for some reason she doesn't fit into either, I can always send one of the grandparents to the house to pick something up that I'll have washed and put away in her room, but I figure I'm kind of covered, hopefully, between one of the two. This is, um, again, from their first favorites line. It's just a little bit different. It's got little uh, white outline bears printed on it, but it's the same concept. It's got the flip over sleeves, um, and it matches the hat and everything. And really, I just figure all I need is a full body piece and a hat, and then we'll have blankets, we'll have um, you know, her car seat, we'll have everything else we need to get her home. So um, that's kind of my plan with that. Now I did buy some three month clothing, like I said, because I could not pass up that sale. I bought some long sleeve um, uh, versions of their body suits. I got this pack uh, that comes with a solid pink, a pink and white stripe, and then just a white. Um, I will pull out one of them to show you. Let's pull out the striped one. I really like their the striped things. I think they're cute. Um, but here you can kind of see, get a sense of that. It's so super soft. It's just really nice quality. I mean, you can really feel, you can really feel the quality. Um, and then I bought these little matching pants. They came in a set of two to match. Um, and I figured those, again, kind of a mix and match thing goes with all of those little um, body suits. And I bought the long sleeve because um, I figure winter, cold, um, that'll work out. And we have the white short sleeve ones from Carter's if that's too warm. And then I also got this little sweater, um, snap up sweater to match in the three month size. Cause again, it goes with everything. And if we need another layer, um, then we have another layer and it's just so, so I can't explain how soft it is. And they do the thing with the little, I guess this is a very common baby thing to do with the little ears on top of the hood. I just think that's so cute. I also bought a pair of socks. Well, actually, it's two pairs of socks to match because I just wanted to try their socks. I wanted to try both, you know, different kinds of socks and I just think these match nicely. So it's nice to have so, and they were on sale, like I said. And then I bought a couple of little winter gear items. These are probably for when she's a little bit bigger. I think these are zero to six months. Um, but this came as a set, so a little fleece hat. This is just lined in the softest fabric and little mittens. Um, so she can wear those for a little while at least. And it, you need hat and mittens here well through April even. And I've <laughs> these little booties, which I just thought were too funny. Um, really, really cute. Yes, there's a lot of pink stuff. Gap does a lot of pink for their girls, um, but I don't mind. I think it's sweet. Um, and then I also bought a fleecy kind of going out outfit um, for three months. You know, I got the newborn size from Carter's, but now I have the three months from The Gap, and I just thought it was so cute um, the way it was designed. Um, it's a mostly a zipper thing too, which is kind of convenient. Um, and she can wear the little boots with that <laughs> or in the little hat and be all set to go. And then I bought one thing that was a little bit bigger Oh wait, I also bought these bibs. I know she won't need bibs for a while, but I don't know when she's gonna start drooling a lot, and these seem like nice drool bibs because they're just real soft, um, but also have some sus substance to them, and they match, so I got those. Um, and then I bought one thing that's bigger. This is up to six months, um, and I just had to get it because I was thinking, like, 
It's possible she could fit into this earlier and think about this at like Easter time. It's a little sweater, like a knit romper. How cute is the bunny? And it was, you know, 50% off. I couldn't, I couldn't resist. That seems to be the theme. Um, but I just, I thought how sweet. Like I said, I didn't want to buy a lot of bigger things because I'm just not sure yet, but um, I, the sale, the sale made me do it. And one last thing I bought from Baby Gap that I just thought was really cute. Totally could have put this together myself, didn't need to buy this, but sale and cuteness factor kind of played into it. And it's this little kit. I think this would make a really nice gift, actually. It's the spare pair set. It says, be ready for anything. This grab and go pack includes an extra outfit, changing pad, and carrier pouch. So it all comes packaged up in this pouch, which is very lightweight with the zipper. And then inside, I'll pull it up so you can see, is a full size matching changing pad. Really nice changing pad. Feels very, very cush. Um, and then this little outfit, and this is the three month size, I believe. It says, this is my spare pair on it. So it has the long sleeve um, bodysuit and then the little matching pants. Uh, and I just thought I would wash this up and tuck it, have it just live in the car just in case. Not even in my diaper bag. Like I'm always gonna have an extra outfit in the diaper bag. I think that kind of goes without saying. But I thought this would be nice to just have in the car like if I need to grab it, if we're somewhere and for some reason we go through all of our other outfits in our diaper bag or, you know, or just to throw it in a Don's car when we're going somewhere, just to have as a backup thing. And then I figure when she grows out of that size, I can just replace the, you know, the outfit in there with the appropriate size, but keep the little extra changing pad and stuff in there. And maybe even throw like, if there's room to throw a diaper in there as well, and maybe like a travel set of wipes and just have this like ready for on the go. It's kind of an extraneous thing, but I thought kind of fun. Um, and I thought it was a cute idea and would make a really cute gift. Um, as well. So that's everything that I'm showing you guys in this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you think I'm missing like some, like something really important <laughs> that I don't have in terms of clothing. Um, I just honestly think I'm going to keep it pretty simple for the first few months of her life. So that's kind of why I went with just the sleepers and the bodysuits and the and the legging kind of situation. Um, but if there's something you think is critically important that I'm missing that you would swear by, please let me know in the comments. I love hearing you guys' input and advice and appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.